Hi, this is Chris Ferguson, the commander of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, orbiting the Earth at an altitude of 220 miles docked to the International Space Station, and this is the pilot, Doug Hurley. From this vantage point, we have a spectacular view of many of the areas on our planet that naval aviation influences daily. We are extremely proud to say that we are naval aviators. Doug flew Hornets in the Westpac, and I flew F-14 Tomcats off the Forrestal and the Nimitz. I would not be here today commanding a space shuttle flight if we're not for all that naval aviation has given me. As an astronaut, I'm honored and humbled to be a part of the incredible team called NASA and extremely proud of what NASA has accomplished over the past 50 years. As an aviator, I'm equally honored to be part of the naval aviation family and to be able to say that I played a small part in the enormous impact naval aviation has made on our country and the rest of the world over the past 100 years. Naval aviators have had a significant impact on the manned space program since its inception. First American to fly in space, Alan Shepard. First American to orbit the Earth, John Glenn. First American to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong. Last human to set foot on the moon, Gene Cernan. First Americans to pilot the space shuttle, John Young and Bob Crippen. And the commander and pilot of the final shuttle flight, our naval aviators. Additionally, Naval aviators have had a dominant pre presence in leadership roles of NASA as well, from the top NASA position, the NASA Administrator, to Center Directors of Johnson and Kennedy Space Centers. So you can tell by just a few of those milestones what an incredible impact naval aviation has made on the NASA Human Spaceflight Program. On behalf of NASA, thank you to Naval Aviation. In closing, I would like to congratulate Naval Aviation on its 100 years of achievement and thank all the men and women of the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard and their families for their honor, courage, and commitment in serving our great nation. Congratulations again. God bless Naval Aviation and God bless the United States of America.